off the bat, I just want to know, um, I've often recommended the show to my friends, but I don't know what to tell them when they ask, well, what's it about? So, how would you basically describe Wiretap to someone who's never heard of it before? Um, I don't know. It's always difficult for me. It feels like it's such an offshoot of who I am and my personality and the things that I like that it's, that it's almost as difficult as kind of explaining uh, who I myself am, you know? I mean, it's, a, it's changed a lot. It's um, in its eighth year now. It's been a, basically a comedy show. Funny monologues and funny uh, telephone conversations with... Uh, with a uh, returning roster of uh, friends and family. Where does the idea for a show like Wiretap really come from? I mean, I don't know how high concept the idea is. Um, I mean, it came out of certain practical considerations. Like, I wanted to be able to do it easily and economically, so I think that's how the telephone came into play. Um, I figured it would, it would make it easier for, to, to, for the people that I liked and wanted to have on the show, uh, to be on the show, so that they wouldn't have to go into a radio studio or do that kind of thing. You know, it's kind of like, it, if, if you were to compare it to, um, say, something visual, it would be sort of like when you're looking at um, surveillance footage, you know, where um, where it, 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 it's basically like the, the radio drama-ness of, its, of what it is isn't telegraphed. You know, in the same way, yeah. as say, like, if you were listening to a show like Afghanida, another CBC radio drama, um, you know that it can't be real because um, it has all the hallmarks of radio drama. Um, now, I want to talk about your, uh, your newest book, Ladies and Gentlemen of the Bible. Sure. Um, so, what, why would you write a comedic version of the Old Testament? every day, um, right. certain actions every day um, for, I believe, a year. And um, just even things like the guy who wanted to set up, um, I believe it was, um, Houses on the Sea. Yes. Um, what is it like to interview people who have such um, unique ideas, and why do they interest you? Um, okay, well, first of all, uh, just um, in reference to what we were talking about before, so these guys are real, right? Yeah, they are. They definitely are. Yeah, and I, and I think one of the ways that we try to kind of tip our hand in order to let people know that it's real is we'll, we'll mention in the credits, like we'll point you to their websites and you know, so that you could look further into what they're doing. Um, but they interest me because I think I'm very interested in projects, you know, um, and ch personal challenges. And I guess people who are a little um, eccentric and quixotic and um, kind of have a vision for how they want to live their lives and um, and and go for it, you know? Like, I mean, to seen through the lens of the present, you know, we look at a lot of, like, innovators and inventors and great men, considering, I mean, in their own time, they must have seemed like 
like lunatics um, just to kind of um, to bring to bear their own vision of, of how to live um, which might have been at odds with um, with the people of their time like for instance I'm just before you called I, I was working on a, a story about a real life superhero who um, who lives in LA and he's 45 years old and he 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 lives in this kind of crappy neighborhood and um, sorry I, I think I think he's no rather he's in he's in Orlando in Florida and um, and he you know people look at him like he's crazy when he walks the streets but he really feels like he's on a mission and, he, and it gives him a lot of strength and I don't know I think that kind of a personality um, is inspiring in a way um, they they're not bullied into uh, a particular way of living life and I don't know I think like it's a, it's a gift to, to the people around them and I, I love kind of um, sharing sharing their stories with people where do you see wiretap really going in the future I don't know I mean hopefully I see it going um, uh, in in the direction of whatever my interests are and what my you know producers interest is um, so that the show can continue to grow as we grow and continue to meet interesting people and also like retain all the things that people initially fell in love with you know like a lot of the characters and stuff like that um, you know people love Howard and Gregor and my folks and um, and so yeah I guess I don't know just um, hopefully like just continuing to be to, to, to be excited about what we're about what we're doing and try to try to make good shows I guess if they were interested in listening to your show they can catch it um, either online through the podcast mm -hmm. and um, when is it available if they were listening to it on the radio um, it's on this season. It's uh, it broadcasts on CBC Radio One on uh, Saturday afternoons at three thirty, and then I believe it rebroadcasts on Thursday evenings at eleven thirty on Thursday. I think. Okay. And yeah. So, oh, and, so and you can download it from uh, iTunes or from the website uh, as of I think Saturday morning. Okay. And for those of you that are interested in your book, where can they find it? speak through this um, this afternoon. Oh my thank you. Thanks so much for for, uh, for calling and having an interest in the show. Alright, it was a real pleasure. And I'd just like to say that I have a Eng two English teachers here who are absolute fans of the show and one of them wanted him to, uh, me to say that he he loves you. Oh God. Well that makes it all worth <laughs> to, to be to be seated on this uh, chair, though not on a pillow. Um, still on a chair, which makes me feel pretty evolved. <laughs> And um, and loved by an English professor I haven't I've never met. All right. Um, well, yeah. Thank you. All right. Thanks for your time, Jonathan. Okay. Take care. Okay. Bye. 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 I'm right now for Spartan Youth Radio. I just finished speaking with CBC Wiretap host Jonathan Goldstein. Um, his show can be heard on CBC Radio One Saturday mornings and Thursday afternoons. His book, Ladies and Gentlemen, The Bible can be found in bookstores all across Canada. And I'm Wade Owl uh, for Spartan Youth Radio. We're all kinds of different. Hi, this is Rick Mercer, and this is Spartan Youth Radio.